So this hotel at London Gatwick, the Sofitel, I've been wanting to stay in here for quite a long time. So I thought I'd go and check myself in for one night, but we're not gonna use this entrance, even though you can see from the old photos that uh, a bellhop used to stand, is that the name for them? Or someone who used to greet you with a top hat. However, they're no longer there. There's no point going through there because you only go through there to go up the escalators to go to reception anyways. But I thought I'd go the other way because this covered walkway is the private entrance into the Sofitel, which means it's also the best way to get to the terminal building when you wake up in the morning. No real rush to catch a bus or anything like that. The entrance this way is a lot more impressive does your eyes in and you feel very dizzy. It's had over 6,000 excellent reviews on TripAdvisor. So is it really that good? Let's go and check it out. It's carpeted and it smells really nice, even in here. And most of these places you would think they don't smell that nice. And you can see adverts for Sofitel literally everywhere as you walk down. Now I've already checked in just to make things a little bit easier. Oh, open frontwards. First thing you notice is, wow, look how big the atrium is in here. It's absolutely huge. So reception is just here on my right hand side. Like I say, I've already checked in. Feels like you're in a little bit of a shopping center. There's a little cafe here that doesn't seem to be open, but we'll go and have a look around in just a minute. But first let's go and head up to our room. I believe the lifts are here. Nice lift. So I've got to use my key before it will go up. Level six. Now I guess we get a nice view of the atrium as we go up. We do, look at that. It's crazy to think you're in a hotel. Now I'm not on the highest floor, I'm on uh, floor number six. The highest is floor eight, which isn't too much higher. Is it this way? Room number 636, which should be this way. I can smell room service, someone's food. Love the carpet. Six three six. Oh, what's this? Clean room disturb bell. Oh, nice little touch. Now, some of the rooms actually do face onto the airport. However, they are quite pricey. And even though I have upgraded from a very basic room to what I've got behind this door, you can kind of get an airport view, I think. Let's go in. First things first, for lights, got to put this in there. And we've got lights. I'll tell you what, it's a random thing to moan about and question, but the doors do feel a bit more like a Premier Inn rather than a, a very nice four-star hotel. In fact, Premier Inn doors are better. Okay, I'm just gonna put my bag down because if you're wondering why I've got this huge bag, it's because uh, I'm flying from Gatwick somewhere tomorrow. Uh, first thing I notice when I come in the room is that the air conditioning is very loud. Just looking from the outside of the hotel and just actually walking around straight away, I can feel that it is starting to show its age a little bit. Yeah, look at that. One thing I've got to say about the room, yeah, it's really nice, um, very monotone colors, but there's no like kind of lights on this side, which means all the lights are just over here and there's no lights in the ceiling. So it's actually kind of, well, a little bit dark, especially over this side. Interesting leather couch, perfect to relax on. And I know I've got my shoes on just before a very long flight. Can only get at least one person on here at a time. I guess your other half could just sit at the end. Fashionable artwork, not really my taste. What's the view like? Like I say, I don't have runway views onto the airport, but I do have a view of the huge Premier Inn here at Gatwick. And if you've ever stayed at that Premier Inn, you'll know that is a very nice hotel. I should review that soon. Um, Roundabout, 
and the car parking. You can kind of see, I think some planes maybe take off from this side. Not quite sure actually, but that's the tram station there to get to the, uh, the south terminal. But other than that, huge window though. I mean, look at the size of it. It's ridiculously big. So big, in fact, you can actually comfortably get two people in this window sill. Shame there's no cushions on here because you could uh, sit out and relax and look at the aircraft. Not that there's any and the weather's rubbish. So along with the sofa, I've got a very nice grey comfy chair, which even though this hotel now is actually pretty old, this chair is in pretty good nick, unless it's uh, obviously new. Nice and comfy. I'm kind of liking this grey, white, black look. I don't think it's stylish. Nice and comfy, this chair, though. Someone can relax on the chaise lounge while the other person <laughs> sits on the chair. Huge, big, blackout curtains. Oh, look at that dust on there. Bad. I've got a phone to call reception, a wake-up call if I want it, a Sofitel notepad, and a Sofitel pencil. Ooh. USB charging, a little reading light. Again, nicely polished. The thinnest little switch ever to turn that on. But the bed is huge. Again, it's two beds pushed together. Let's do the bed test. Nice, oh yeah, this is nice. You really sink into this bed. Very comfy. As always, they're the feather kind. Hopefully I can get some thicker pillows. Hopefully I can get some more firmer pillows, but they're all right, actually. What's this? All right, room service. So I can order breakfast to the room. Um, randomly, it's in English one side, and I think that's French on the other. Quite surprised with the dust on there for a hotel like this. But another bedside table, is there a drawer? No, no drawer. There's something very satisfying about this very smooth black table and the very thin black remote. Huge TV. Someone will tell me, uh, is it French owned? Because there, bonjour, welcome to Sofitel London Gatwick. Nice picture of the hotel. Hotel info, smart apps, view the bill, world time. Mr. Toby Wilson, that's not me. <laughs> They've given me the wrong room. Before we check out the bathroom, just want to show you this little area for the tea and coffee. Now, once again, I'm a little bit gutted. State of the kettle for the Sofitel. Thought that'd be a little bit more grander. Tea and coffee, small little cups. Putting the teaspoons on the bottom of those where they're not clean is not very good. A safe. We've got a bar in here as well. This way. And inside here we've got a complimentary bottle of water, I assume it is anyway, and uh, never had that before. Randomly some glasses, nice and chilled for a beer. And some long life milk that tastes like fresh milk. It's in the fridge. Nice touch. What's that? Something to shine your shoes with. When was the last time you saw one of these? I don't think they're going to work on sketches, are they? Obviously dry cleaning there if I want it. The iron, the ironing board, and the trusty hair dryer. Nice that they've got lighting in the wardrobe, some extra towels. And there's a little control panel here for the air conditioning, temperature up and down, fan speed. I'm gonna to have to turn that down. Do not disturb. So that, that will then show out here. Or should it? Should do, but don't seem to be working. How about if I put clean room? That's not working either. Oh well. You can see it's, uh, it's an old door because they've still got these on them. And most newer hotels don't really have this, do they? So let's check out the bathroom. That looks like it could be a new door. Like the smart black look of this bathroom. Is this real marble? Very nice. Strange seeing that the sink is just there. You would have expected it to be in the middle, maybe. Balmain. Paris body lotion, nicely polished. This is a nice sink, it feels really nice. Some extra glasses. What's that? Oh, a shower cap and little cotton buds. Never seen them in 
packages like that before. Nice touch. Got some soap, some tissue, and then the shower. Nice walk-in shower. Rainfall shower, an extra shower there. This is really nice. Body wash, obviously shampoo and conditioner somewhere to put your soap if you use it. Again, newer hotels will kind of have that there now. Now, maybe I'm staying in too many hotels, but it would be nice to actually get the choice of a bath or a shower. I do like a shower, but when I've got a long flight ahead of me, a nice hot bath would be good. I'm not quite sure how long this hotel's been here, but I think it is starting to show its age in places a little bit. Anyway, this is a pretty huge hotel. They've got a health club downstairs. Not quite sure whether I can film that. They also have some restaurants as we might have seen just briefly as we walked in. Let's go and check it out, come on. It's great that on each level they've got this huge window so you can see down into the atrium. People look like ants down there. We're only on the, I think it is the sixth floor. Can you see that there's a, there's a piano over there. Does anyone play that really randomly? There's a little lounge bar here. Let's get some food and drink conference center guess we don't need to go in here it's quite a big conference center you can tell this is quite a uh, popular hotel for business meetings so you can actually have some food in here nice little lounge and there's a restaurant here It's like a roundabout in the middle of the hotel. Urban Caf, it's not open. There's another restaurant here, the Brasserie. Is it the same one? Oh no, it's not, it's a bit different. Wow, that is some big champagne. This place is so big you can get lost. I think I'm going down to the ground floor now, which should be the fitness center, I think. Yeah, so this is, this is the entrance from the road that I said is not overly that inspiring. <laughs> Interesting couches. I don't know whether I'm allowed to film in here, but What's the here? I don't know why, but I thought there might be a pool. Well, if you're about to board a transatlantic flight and you want to work out with some <coughs> dumbbells, you can come in here for a bit. That's too heavy. Can you notice a difference? Not overly the nicest I've seen. However, there is some complimentary water, fresh towels, and some fruit. So I paid £186 for a queen-size superior room at the Sofitel at London Gatwick. Tell me what you think in the comments. I actually really did like the hotel. It's absolutely massive, but the rooms are starting to feel a little bit dated in my opinion, but it's somewhere definitely I would want to stay again. And talk about staying at the airport, how about a hotel with one hell of a view? Check this video out of the Block Hotel, also at London Gatwick. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.